So Rod, what are your take home messages now in a sentence or two uh, uh, for the practicing neurologist, ophthalmologist, uh, neuro ophthalmologist about MS in the, uh, in the year 2020? Well, I think the biggest factor is uh, I like to be a splitter now, and that is think about inflammatory optic neuropathy not as one diagnosis, but just a marker of several conditions. Consider NMO, consider MOG. If you're not ordering the blood test on everyone, that's probably okay. But my approach is as soon as I see anything atypical, and that may be lack of visual recovery, that may be early visual recovery with treatment, that may be simultaneous bilaterality. That may be an atypical age group of presentation, a child, an older adult. Consider these other conditions before pigeonholing yourself and telling yourself the patient has MS. I think that's excellent. And I would also like to stress uh, the team approach to this, uh, multidisciplinary. Uh, I always work with a multiple sclerosis specialist at Jefferson. I always want to work with a general neurologist and general ophthalmologist close to where the patient lives. I'm very cautious of diagnosing recurrent optic neuritis in a MS patient at age 42 because it's likely they need glasses and bifocals. And the symptom of blurred vision is not always optic neuritis and we have to be cautious about that. And I would uh, take it one step further. Uh, what Rod said is that if we do this program again in 18 months, or maybe even 12 months, we'll have some new and different messages for you. <clears throat> so I want to thank you for joining uh, Neurology Live <clears throat> uh, and the management of optic neuritis. Uh, thank you very much, Rod. Thank you.